Walter Smith is one of the greatest managers in the history of Rangers Football Club. Over two spells at Ibrox, he won an incredible 21 major honours, and the outpouring of grief following his recent passing shows just how much of an impact he had on the beautiful game. This is the story of Walter Smith, a Rangers great. Walter Smith was born in Lanark on the 24th of February 1948. He grew up in the east end of Glasgow, supporting Rangers as a boy. He worked as an electrician before beginning his football career with junior side Ashfield. He would sign for Dundee United in 1966 and was at the club when Jim McLean took over as manager. After falling out of favour, he was transferred to Dumbarton in 1975. He would return to Dundee United in 1977, but soon after, he suffered a pelvic injury that would lead to him retiring from playing at the age of 29. He would spend time with Dundee United's reserves before going on to be Jim McLean's assistant. This was a key part of Smith's development as a coach, as McLean's disciplined style would rub off on Smith too. He also coached the Scotland under-18s, winning them the European Youth Championships in 1982, and was Alex Ferguson's assistant at the 1986 World Cup. Afterwards, Graham Souness was appointed player manager of Rangers in 1988, and Smith became his assistant. Over the next few years, Rangers won a series of League and Scottish League Cup titles. With Souness often taking a role on the pitch, Smith would commonly be the key figure in the dugout. Souness would leave Rangers to manage Liverpool in 1991, and Smith was appointed interim manager. In May 1991, Rangers clinched their fourth title in five years, and as a result, Smith's position was made permanent. In Walter Smith's first full season, Rangers won the title again, and also won the Scottish Cup to seal a double. The next season would be even better. Rangers won their first trophy of the season in October, when they defeated Aberdeen in the Scottish League Cup final. The league title was sealed in style, with the club finishing 9 points clear of 2nd place Aberdeen. They had a chance to make it a treble, when for the second time that season they would meet Aberdeen in the final, this time the Scottish Cup. Neil Murray and Andrew Hatley scored in the first half for Rangers, and although Aberdeen got one back, Rangers held on. Walter Smith had taken his boyhood club to a treble in only his second season in charge, truly showing he was the right man for the job. Ali McCoyce had burst into life under Smith, netting an incredible 49 goals across all competitions that season. Rangers came within a whisker of reaching the European Cup final too, but missed out on the final by one point in the group stage, with eventual winners Marseille advancing instead. Over the next few years, Smith's success continued, and he spent a large amount of money on players, bringing in the likes of Brian Laudrup and Paul Gascoigne. Rangers continued bringing in the trophies, and in 1997, they equalled Celtic's top flight record of nine league titles in a row. Rangers were keen to now break the record, and spent 13 million on eight new players. Their European form was disappointing though. Rangers lost 4-1 to IK Gothenburg in the preliminary round for the European Cup, and as a result, they were demoted to the UEFA Cup, where they lost 4-2 to Strasbourg. The disappointing results in Europe led to Smith announcing he would leave Rangers at the end of the season. There was to be no fairy tale end to the campaign though, as Rangers missed out on a 10th title in a row on the last day, and were defeated by Hearts in the Scottish Cup final. Walter Smith ended his first spell at Rangers with 13 trophies, made up of 7 Scottish top flight titles, 3 Scottish League Cups, and 3 Scottish Cups. After a brief break, Smith would cross the border and joined Everton in 1998. Smith was made huge promises by the club's board and would spend money on bringing players in. However, it would soon emerge that this was money the club did not actually have. Duncan Ferguson was sold behind Smith's back, a decision that nearly saw Smith leave the club and many more players had to be sold to balance the books. Smith was able to keep the club clear of relegation, but was sacked after three years in the job, with the board running out of patience after they were knocked out of the FA Cup by Middlesbrough. Walter Smith then rejoined Alex Ferguson, spending a brief spell as assistant manager at Manchester United, helping the club win the 2004 FA Cup. Smith's time at the club was brief, but his actions there left a big impact on the world of football. 
A young Cristiano Ronaldo had recently signed for Manchester United. All the players could see the young man's potential, but he was struggling to unlock it. Walter Smith elected to not give fouls in training, and as a result, Ronaldo was constantly on the receiving end of challenges whenever he attempted tricks. For weeks, Ronaldo was going increasingly frustrated, but he soon realised the importance of moving quickly and taking one or two touches, and his game hugely improved. Ronaldo would score the opening goal in the FA Cup final win, and a key part of his transformation can be put down to Smith's coaching. Smith would then take the Scotland manager's job, with impressive results. Scotland rose 70 places during his time in charge, and a draw against Italy and a win against Norway gave them hope of qualifying for the 2006 World Cup, but a 1-0 defeat against Belarus put these hopes to bed. Scotland then recorded a famous win over World Cup runners-up France in a Euro 2008 qualifier. Smith was, however, linked with a return to Ibrox. The Scottish FA initially rejected Rangers' advances, but in January 2007, Walter Smith would take the Ibrox hot seat for a second time, with Ali McCoyce joining him as assistant manager. Smith's first match back at Rangers was a 5-0 win over Dundee United. He then got to his first final since returning, where he would face Dundee United. Dundee United took the lead in the first half, but five minutes from time, Chris Boyd would equalise to send the game into extra time. Dundee United went back in front, but Boyd would level again to send the match to penalties. Both sides would trade goals and misses in the shootout, but Dundee United were missed two in a row, and Chris Boyd had the chance to net the winning penalty. He duly obliged, and Rangers won the Scottish League Cup. Walter Smith had his first trophy back at the club, and it was like he had never been away. Smith also took Rangers on a European run. After exiting the Champions League at the group stages, they faced Sporting Lisbon in the quarter-finals of the UEFA Cup. They drew 0-0 in the first leg, but Rangers won 2-0 in Lisbon to advance to the semi-finals. They then faced Fiorentina for a place in the final. After both legs finished 0-0, the game would be decided by penalties. Rangers would win the shootout 2-0, and would head to Manchester to face Zenit St. Petersburg in the final. Rangers fans took over the city, with 150,000 fans travelling to Manchester, despite Rangers' ticket allocation only being 13,000. Unfortunately, there was to be no fairy tale for the Glaswegians. Two late goals sealed the UEFA Cup for Zenit, although Rangers had a chance to make amends. Although Rangers lost the league to Celtic, they were in the Scottish Cup final against Queen of the South, 10 days after the UEFA Cup final. Chris Boyd netted in the 33rd minute to put Rangers ahead, and Demarcus Beasley netted a second shortly before half-time. Queen of the South would net two in a short period to level the game, but once again, Chris Boyd could be called upon. He netted the winner in the 71st minute, the second time he had won Rangers a trophy that season. Walter Smith's first season back at the club had resulted in a domestic double and a European final. The next season, Smith went one better in the league, finishing four points ahead of Celtic to win the title. A 1-0 win over Falkirk at Hampden Park saw them seal the Scottish Cup for a second year in a row, and a double. Smith had won four trophies in his first two seasons back. Rangers won the League and League Cup the next season, and at the end of the campaign, Smith signed a one-year deal to manage the club the next campaign, which he declared would be his final year as a manager. Smith sealed the League Cup once again, with a 1-0 win against St Mirren in the final, and as the season drew to a close, Rangers were in pole position to take the title home for a third year in a row. Walter Smith's final home game for Rangers would fittingly come against Dundee United. Goals from Nikita Jelovic and Kyle Lafferty ensured his final game at Ibrox resulted in a win, and they were on the verge of sealing the title once again. It was a rainy night, and Walter Smith expected the fans to depart after the final whistle, but he emerged back on the pitch and received the applause of 50,000 Rangers fans showing their appreciation for all he had done. Walter Smith soaked up the applause and prepared for one final game. Rangers were away to Kilmarnock, knowing that a win would seal their third title in a row. And with players keen to give Smith a parting gift, the result was never in doubt. 
A hat-trick from Kyle Lafferty, along with goals from Stephen Naismith and Nikita Jelovic, sealed a 5-1 win for Rangers, and Walter Smith's 10th league title with the club. It was the perfect parting gift. Walter Smith ended his time as Rangers manager once and for all, with a grand tally of 10 league titles, 5 Scottish Cups and 6 Scottish League Cups, making him the second most successful manager in the club's history behind Bill Struth. Walter Smith died from cancer on the 26th of October 2021, at the age of 73. His passing led to an outpouring of grief from the world of football. Ali McCoyce described Smith as his second father, Graham Souness described him as a colossus, and Sir Alex Ferguson called him his great friend. Walter Smith was known by many as someone who had time for everyone. Honest, honourable, and renowned for his wicked sense of humour, Walter Smith was a man adored by those he knew, with everyone having a story about him. And he not only changed the fortunes of Rangers, but he also had such a huge impact on the lives of those he knew. His loss is one that has been felt throughout the world of football, but with all the stories that continue to be told about him, and the incredible success that he took Rangers to, there can be no doubt that Walter Smith is a legend, and he will always be remembered as a great of the beautiful game. <laughs>